last time on Road Warrior, I got Snap, Crackle, and Popped. Ouch! But, hit the trails right after because can't stop and won't stop. We saw a police chase in action, we sweated it out, and set up for another three day long show at the South Florida Boat Show, and afterwards we rewarded ourselves with a rum and coke. Chew. And we're now at the South Florida Boat Show 2017. Hi, mister. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> South Florida, we're ready for you. Come and get it. Well, the first day of the boat show was a bust. But we figured since it was Friday, that Saturday and Sunday would be big days for us. So we got home and cruised around the campground checking out all the awesome rigs. Friday! Oh, so nice. So what? Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Even though we're living in our dream rig, yeah. it's so nice to see how everybody else is set up. There's so many cool rigs out there, and I never stop getting excited when I look at them. We love chatting with other RVers, seeing where they're from, where they're going, and where they've been. And it's been really cool because so many people have come up to us and said how much they enjoy our videos and that they, you know, follow us religiously. It's been really awesome. This is day number two at the South Florida Boat Show. Hi, mister. What's up? What's up? You ready to sell us some shit? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, day two and Saturday was here, and by the looks of the boatyard, it wasn't popping. guys so we're doing the worst show we've ever done so slow nobody's buying but we just broke our curse and things are starting to happen Cardo making some sales and hopefully this continues because we've been working hard and you do all this work and you pay all this money to be here and preparations inventory and if you don't sell, I mean, you're just wasting time and money, and you could be doing a lot, a lot of other things with that time and money. So, wish us luck. Here, before we forget, let's get let's get a little uh, get a little video, and we'll take a little screenshot. Made it to Boynton Beach. After the show, we left the show early because it sucked. Yep. Waste of time. We gotta go back again tomorrow. Hopefully, it's better. But look at that sunset. They got some fish. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Is that fish or that's just a current? Well, there's definitely current, but I think there's fish. It was day three of the show, and we had literally only done a couple hundred dollars in sales, which is absolutely pathetic and a waste of our time. But we were staying optimistic, and they had a big auction going on that day with motor homes, boats, all kinds of things, you name it, and we were hoping that was going to drive some traffic. There was a couple hundred items in the auction, ranging from RVs to every kind of motorized vehicle you can think of. Some really cool stuff, and it drove people there, but unfortunately, it didn't drive people into the area where we were selling. The heck's going on with this paint job, man? I got bubbles. There are bubbles right there. Doesn't show up that well, but that's all bubbling up, and the paint is cracking. I mean, I've never had this happen on any car, so this is really disappointing from a brand new truck. How do you like our ride? Love it. I would love it more if we didn't have anything in here. <laughs> yeah, can't really uh, see much and literally sitting very close to the steering wheel. We packed it up early. It's uh, 4.30 and the show's supposed to go till 5 and uh, started packing up a couple hours ago, two and a half hours ago because it was a terrible show. Waste of time, waste of money, lost money, and four days of my life. Yeah, yeah, not too much business, but you can win them all. Should be able to win them all. We would like to, but it is what it is. Bad phase. So, good news is we'll be home by five. And we'll get to see the puppies! Jeff came, helped us pack it up, and uh, we're gonna go for a little ride on Vespa and Eagle, get some food. Because we're hungry! Yeah, we've been eating nothing but crap. That's not true. We had a few good things today. Breakfast. And fruit. still unpack and it's like 90 degrees with uh, crazy 100% humidity just dripping sweat anyways
Shall we begin? Let's begin now. It's been a rough few weeks with a lot of work and very little reward, but can't let that stop you from living life. So we were super stoked to jump on the bikes and let Jeff try out Eagle, hit up the beach, get some good grub, and just cruise.